Hey everybody, it's Lynn from A Bit of Birdsong. If you've watched my channel in the past, you've probably seen a journal called Big Blue. About two years ago, I decided to challenge myself and work with the color blue, something that I did not do very much. I fell in love with blue, and ever since then, I've been working in my Big Blue journal and also making Big Blue journals for the shop. This morning, I was inspired to make a baby blue. So this is a smaller version. It is about six inches by, hmm, looks like seven and a half inches. All of the pages are sewn in with the fabric strips. That gives you a lot of room to work and it helps the journal to lay really flat when you're working in it. Even with the bead charm under there, it was pretty flat, but you can pull that up. Uh, so you can see it's just full of really pretty paper. This is very nice paper. It's heavy, uh, so it will take painting and that sort of uh, kind of mixed media or whatever you want to do with that. These, uh, there are two signatures in here that are wallpaper, so they're not quite as heavy as this paper, but still very nice. There's one in the back, and then the second signature is that beautiful blue wallpaper. This is ready for you to put tabs and pockets and collage and painting and whatever you want to do. You know I don't mind a little raveling, so um, I try to cut the strings before I send things off like this, and I've tried to sew around the edges so that you don't have too much of that. My stamp, as you can see, is on the back, and let's cut the strings where I sewed that on. There are some vintage fabrics on here. The outside is made with a quilt cover, and then again, layers of different things. It's got the lace on the edges, a fabric flower from some blue fabric, and there's a little blue flower in this old part of a table scarf. You can see the word blue stamped on the front. I love to do that, and it's a bit eclectic. That's what these really turn into. It turns into just a sea of blue, and the more you put into it, the more it will become you know, just it'll just be an artwork of blue. With the journal comes a pack of items. You can see there are flower petals and there's a little fabric sample. Here are some playing cards that are just all different shades of blue. I love the little baby one with the bird. And then there are some stamps that are still on paper. These are all blue or shades of blue. And then here are some stamps that are off paper, and these are all blue. I love to do the pages that are, are just postage stamps, kind of as a collage. There are some fabric samples that all have blue. So you can cut these down and make tabs, use parts of these, or, or you know, not at all. There's an old uh, sheet from a piece of music that's got some different shades of blue and some letters. There's a blue ticket. Here is some wrapping paper. Here's kind of a heavy card. You can fold that and make pockets or, or whatever. Here are some tickets from a local event that were blue. Some wallpaper with different colors, but it's predominantly that beautiful blue. There are three of these artist papers from Stampington that I never got around to using, and they're just, the blue in this is so beautiful. And then here are some magazine pages from a vintage, I believe it was a good housekeeping. And all of these had pretty blue in the images. So you could use that for collage or, you know, just however you want to use that. And this journal, you have enough room in here to work. There are seven signatures, which gives you 14 pages or 28 if you count front and back. But the way it's bound gives you space enough to make tip out pages with either masking tape or paper tape, whatever you want to use. And uh, I did, that paper would be great for that. Then there are some magazine ads that have blue. That lady's dressed up for the Day of the Dead and look at all the blue in that. And then there's Marilyn in a blue sweater. This looks like an eye, but it's a napkin with a coffee cup on it filled with black coffee and there's a napkin with lots of beautiful blue. So this is currently in the shop and I'm hoping to get some more things done and listed today. This is put 
on the uh, spine of the journal with a rusty safety pin. Just be really careful. If you want to take it off, you just unclip it towards the book side and you can slide the whole thing out and it, it's going to bring the charm uh, with it. Or you could take it off this way uh, and leave the safety pin. Just however you want to do that. Just be careful. You are aware there's a rusty safety pin on here. It will come wrapped up in this piece of fabric that's got a lot of blue in it. So this is currently in the shop. Thank you so very much for stopping in. I'm hoping to get together some more wallpaper soon. Those packs sold really fast. And I just, I love wallpaper. I was glad to be able to put a little bit of it in here and save a few pieces for myself. But um, thank you so much again for your support. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, my shop would not be here without you. And again, I'll be back soon. Bye for now.